In big segment tonight, as we mentioned in the Talking Points memo, the race in Nevada between Senator Harry Reid and Sharon Engel, very close, with Ms. Engel currently leading by four points in the Rasmussen poll. Here is Ms. Engel's latest ad. Waves of illegal aliens streaming across our border, joining violent gangs, forcing families to live in fear. And what's Harry Reid doing about it? Voting to give illegal aliens social security benefits, tax breaks, and college tuition. Voting against declaring English our national language twice. And even siding with Obama and the president of Mexico to block Arizona's tough new immigration law. Harry Reid, it's clear whose side he's on, and it's not yours. All right, joining us now in Las Vegas, Heidi Harris, radio talk show host on KDWN. Are people in Las Vegas really living in fear? Are they afraid of criminal illegal aliens? Well, I think some people are, and it's a huge topic, obviously, as you know, on talk radio throughout the country, and certainly here in the Southwest. It's a big issue. Arizona has been a big issue. Uh, as you know, unemployment here in our Clark County is 15 percent. A lot of that is construction trades, and many experts say the construction industry, it's double that. And a lot of people have argued that illegal aliens have taken many of those jobs. As a matter of fact, Harry Reid was asked about that by a reporter in Las Vegas. He denied it. He said that's not happening here, which really got people fired up. There okay, so problem. this, this illegal concerned. alien angle that Miss Angle is taking, pardon the pun, is, is effective in Nevada. It, it, there is a feeling there that the federal government isn't controlling the immigration process, and that's hurting people in the state. So you're saying that this is a very effective way to diminish Senator Reid. Absolutely, because he's flip-flopped. As you know, in the 90s, he tried to pass much tougher laws against immigration, and then he's flip-flopped, and now he's gotten a little bit looser on it. So he really can't make up his mind. If you look at his record, he's had a lot of changes over the years as far as immigration. So, yes, it's a big issue. He is viewed as soft on immigration, and it gets to a lot of people. I think that ad is very effective. You know, with Ms. Engel running four points ahead with a week to go, that's obviously terrible news for uh, Senator Reid, who's a very powerful guy, who's got a lot of money. And there's a lot of uh, Democratic uh, emotion behind him. So I'm wondering if, if he, at the last moment, because of the ground machine the Democrats do have in the state of Nevada, particularly in your county, Clark County, where most of the votes are, um, whether he can overtake Ms. Angle at this point. I think he's got a good ground game, there's no question, and a lot of money behind him. But Sharon Angle has really touched the hearts of a lot of people who are independent. That's an issue. Obviously, the conservatives like her. And even conservatives who may not love her as much are going to vote for her as opposed to Harry Reid. You know, you've got to figure the guy is supposed to be the most powerful guy in the Senate. Well, his power has brought us Obamacare. And right now, when people are losing their jobs and companies are charging people more money for their, their benefits already as a result of Obamacare and what they're expecting to see, people are and they're mad at what Harry Reid has done. They say well, he's powerful, but he's using his power in the wrong way, and that's what's helping Sharon Angle also. Is there a Hispanic American presence to any degree in Nevada? Because they wouldn't like that ad. So if Hispanic Americans were, you know, uh, on the fence, they would probably vote for Senator Reid based upon that ad. It's a pretty tough ad. Well, they might be, but the fact is, I don't know how many people who were going to vote one way or the other weren't really sure will be swayed by that ad. I think the people who will be outraged by it and consider it racist or something weren't going to vote for Sharon anyway. And I think, if anything else, it will reinforce in the minds of people who are really concerned about immigration, illegal immigration, that Harry Reid is soft on it, and he's not giving people the answers they want. And I think it's effective from that standpoint. Now, did you hear what Joy Behar said about Sharon Engel on The uh, View today? <laughs> Did you hear about that? Yes. Did you yes, take calls on, on that uh, on your radio program? I, I will take calls on it tomorrow. I was talking about other local issues today. I will yeah, take calls I, on it tomorrow. I, but You yeah. know, that kind of rhetoric, I mean, that's pretty strong, you know, saying a woman yeah. is going to go to hell, uh, this is Miss Angle, and then calling her the B word right. twice on national television. That, I think, is going to help Sharon Angle. I mean, if you're an independent voter and you're, and you're looking around and you're not quite sure where to go and you hear a, an attack, and let's face it, Ms. Behar is a far left person, there's no doubt about that. Uh, of that magnitude, you might say, whoa, you know, I'm gonna, that's going to tip it for me. I could be wrong about that, but these personal attacks, I don't think they work very well. They've been used against me, and my yeah. ratings just go higher. So that's what I'm based on, basing it on. That's exactly what happens. Yeah, Sharon Eggle is going to be on my show tomorrow. We'll talk about that with Sharon at the time. I agree with you, and I also think, Bill, that when, when the debate happened between Sharon and Harry, the only one that occurred, it really showed a lot of people that you may or may not like her points of view, but she's not crazy. And Harry spent a couple of months trying to portray her 
her as crazy. And that totally backfired on him. Talk about extreme rhetoric. Totally so she, yeah, she held her own said, in well, the debate. She held her own here back when she came in. Has Reed been on your program? That's right. Uh, not lately. It's been a few years since I've had the privilege. I've invited him in person a couple of weeks ago, ran into him at an event, and I said, love to have you on, Senator, and so far he's ditching me. Don't know why.